If you guys are looking for an MP40 classic, literally obliterate people at all ranges, you've definitely come to the right video. I've been playing with the MP40 since the day this game came out, and I got really tired of using it because the thing just sucked at range, and I was like, I can't do this anymore, I'm tired, I've had enough, and I switched over to the STG, but I recently came back to the MP40 with the goal to make one class that could work at close, mid, and long range, and I think I finally made it, and the good thing about this is, like me, you do not need to be at such a high level on this weapon in order to build this class. It's overpowered, it's insane, and it is super accurate at almost every single distance. Barely any recoil. Go ahead and use it. I'm going to show this class to you guys. It's crazy. What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to another Vanguard video man. Today we're going to be talking about the MP40, a long overdue video that I probably should have done a little while ago, but I mean hey, I really wanted to test out this gun, see what kind of classes we can make and yeah, just didn't want to throw any class up for you guys. Now this class is not going to be your traditional MP40 class, it might not even look like any class that you've ever used before, but you got to trust me man, if you're trying to use this gun for just close range, this is not the class you want to use. If you're trying to use it for close range, mid range and long range, this is the class you definitely want to use so i love it it's crazy it's good but before we get into the class setup if you guys could drop a like on this video man we're gonna set a goal of 1000 if you guys could go ahead and do that that would be absolutely amazing subscribe to the channel if you guys are around here with those notices turned on and let me know down in the comments below what is your current go-to weapon in call of duty vanguard mine's either the mp40 depending on the map i mean some maps you just can't some maps you got to use the stg but i mean so far i think the mp40 and the stg are my go-to's let me know yours all right let's get into it the first thing you want to run is the muzzle and that is the mercury silencer now the mercury silencer is great but you do lose something that kind of sucks and that is damage range you do lose some of that but it's not really the end of the world you get sound suppression and you get recoil control now what i really like about this is the fact that, that recoil control is going to help you guys hit those long shots it might not seem like much but it does do a great di difference the thing is this is not the only attachment that you need to throw on to get this to be good at long range you also get sound suppression which is pretty neat because no one's going to see you firing on the map you got to use suppressors man you just gotta the barrel is gonna be the krausnik 317 millimeter 04b or 04b or however you want to say it this is highly accurate and controllable what this means really is that there's not much weapon bloom to the gun and the recoil is very controllable you also get reduced scope sway and gun bob so that when you're just aiming down sights the gun's not going left right as your character's breathing and stuff now this is really good because you know you need accuracy in order to reduce the weapon bloom in this game so you're gonna be hitting so many more shots at long range it's not gonna feel like you're aiming directly at someone and you're missing shots and stuff you're actually going to be a laser and this one is really important you gotta run this barrel out of every attachment i'm gonna give you this video this is probably one of the most important ones you do lose sprint to fire which is probably the most important thing in the game especially when you're using smgs but you gotta get that sacrifice and you also lose some hip fire accuracy but it's still really good like i didn't notice much of a difference to be honest losing some hip fire accuracy here it's still really really good the next attachment and again, you could choose what you want here, but I went for the optic, the slate reflector. Now, I'm going to say, if you want to use one, either the slate reflector or the G16 2.5X, those are both good options. Now, the reason I'm using the slate reflector is because I'm using this mostly for close range and mid range, and this is a small optic. It doesn't zoom in too much. It's really nice. It's good, and it's just, it's solid. It's a solid one to use. It doesn't take up too much of your screen, so you don't have to worry about that at all. It's nice. I mean, the G16 is nice as well, but it is a pretty big zoom. So when you're going for close range shots, it's still zooming in 2.5 times so it's you got to kind of weigh your options there and choose which one you want i mean you could go for something else completely but that's just my my options there so the next attachment is going to be the stock and this is the vdd 34m padded this one's great this one this one again if you're going to use any attachment throw this on to your mp40 this one is insane it's really good i've used the other ones that i haven't locked and and they just don't make a difference this makes all the difference you get plus three recoil control which you guys can see in the gameplay man my gun barely has any recoil if any at all it's it's it feels insane it feels broken and it's just really nice to use you get plus three accuracy so even though we had that barrel that gave us the weapon bloom minus and stuff this here is doing the same thing and it's giving it three times so it's really nice to have you also get plus two flinch resistance so if enemies are shooting at you you're not going to flinch too much and plus one recoil recovery so if you do have a little bit of recoil your gun recovers very very fast it's not going to keep going up or to the right or whatever it does it's not going to continue doing that it's going to be easy to recover so that's really nice now again this sucks this 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 negative i'm not happy with but you have to run this stock now you do lose minus three sprint to fire speed which really does suck then you do lose uh, minus two movement speed 
which at the end of the day isn't the worst because it is an SMG, it's really light anyways, and it's not strafe movement speed, so I don't mind losing it that much, but the minus three fire speed, sp sprint to fire speed, it's, that does suck. Yeah, I mean, I think we're at like negative five right now in terms of sprint to fire, so it's not the greatest, but it's actually not that bad either. It is noticeable, I will tell you guys that, it is noticeable, but if you're playing a little slower with this class and you're not running around like a hellish chicken, which you could still do, luckily with this class, you could still do that, it just, it feels right, it feels it's like a solid class. The under barrel is the M1930 Strife Angled. This one, again, you get another plus two accuracy, plus one aiming stability, and plus one aim walking steadiness. Don't look at the con, it's, 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 it's another sprint to fire speed. I know. I know guys, it sucks, it sucks. Maybe I'm gonna try and like work on this class a little bit so we don't lose too much sprint to fire, but so far, like, it's a, you guys are watching the gameplay, man. It's solid, it is super solid. And again, the accuracy on this thing is, it just means that the, there's no weapon bloom, which you could finally use the MP40 at long range. It's really nice. Now, in the gameplay, I'm not actually using a magazine. I'm still not sure if I wanna use a magazine, if I'm being quite honest with you guys. But for the sake of it, if you guys do wanna throw one on, the one that I recommend is the 7.62 Garenko 32 round mag. This gives you plus five recoil control and accuracy, which I mean the gun without it is still really good You got plus two ADS plus two fire rate So this gun's gonna shoot out a lot faster and plus one movement speed now You do lose bullet velocity and range you do lose bullet penetration and you do lose damage But with that fire rate being up the damage doesn't matter what's at all like it, it really doesn't matter now Here's my thing with this attachment the reason I don't like running it you get accuracy you get recoil control, but then you're also losing bullet velocity and range. So is it really worth it at the end of the day? I, I still don't know yet. I'm going to run this class a lot more. I haven't really ran this mag or this ammo in, in too many games, so I'm still testing it out. But for the sake of it, you throw it on. If you guys don't like it, take it off, and it's not much of a difference. Like, really, it's not much of a difference at all. The ammo type, I went for the FMJ rounds for bullet penetration. That's because I don't have incendiary unlocked yet. Once I got get incendiary unlocked, I'm definitely throwing it on to this class, except it might take away too much damage range, but either way, the person's on fire, even if he kills you, you're gonna get the kill, which I still don't wanna die, so I don't know, I don't know yet, but FMJ rounds are nice, you can shoot through the walls, you can shoot through a lot of stuff, and it, it works hand in hand, especially if you have that, I think it's a perk, where if you shoot someone, you, they get highlighted, and you could see them through walls, you could continue shooting them with FMJ rounds, and they will go down, so that's really nice. The actual rear grip is the leather grip, this gives you just ADS speed. Now, I kinda wanna see if I can unlock any other ones after this i think if i do get i might go for the fabric grip this gives you ads speed it gives you sprint to fire speed which we kind of need on this class and it gives you hip fire recoil recovery which is really nice you do lose minus one accuracy but we're already so high on accuracy we already have so much accuracy attachments the losing one isn't that bad and you get ads and sprint to fire so i think this is the one i'm gonna go for once i get my gun to level 46 I'm not sure, but I think it is going to be the one I actually go for. But for the sake of it, what I got right now is the leather grip. You get ADS. It's nice. It does the job. I mean, at the end of the day, it does what it has to do. The next attachment is the proficiency, and I go for steady. This reduces movement penalties. So if somebody shoots your legs and they have, I think, it's, again, it's a perk. I'm not sure. And, and I think think it might work against that where it slows you down it's gonna it's gonna work against that also we have attachments where our movement speed is really slow this reduces that as well this is important to have especially when using an smg you want to still move fast you want to still have this on your gun for sure and the final one is the kit and i put on fast melee now fast melee is cool but i'm definitely gonna put on fully loaded once i get that unlocked now fast melee if you like meleeing it's it's cool i mean i might melee once every three three games so it kind of feels useless to me but like i said once I get fully loaded that's definitely going on my class 100% like 100% man now like I said earlier man if you guys could let me know down in the comments what is your fur favorite fervent I was gonna say your favorite gun in the game I would really like to know that if you made it this far into the video comment red bananas as well just mess with everyone it's fun to do they always comment like what the hell why is everyone saying red bananas just do it man. Just, it's fun it's fun to mess with people I, I'm not a bully I swear <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here drop a like on this video thank you guys for watching again I want to know those favorite guns of yours because I want to make class setups for all the weapons that you guys like so yeah just let me know down in the comments thank you guys for watching my name is nick and i'll catch you in the next one peace